So what's up guys, uh, welcome back, it's your boy Gadam Slink, how you guys doing, welcome to that crazy video and uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from, I hope you guys are very much doing okay, so we are back to our normal business, the election is over and uh, INEC has uh, announced the winner of uh, the 2023 corrupted general election, <laughs> but we are still waiting to see how, what the opposition parties, Labour Party, PDP, and the NNPP will do. Are they just going to court to Lady Tinubu or they are going to court? But I'm very much sure they are going to court. This is democracy. They are allowed to go to court. And I'm hoping they go to court because it's a democratic system. They must exercise their democratic laws and rights. So let them go to court. So I want to show you, like, uh, let's talk about some reaction from our favorite Nigeria celebrities. Some favorites and other unfavored Nigeria celebrities. In fact, they are trying to throw jab at each other. But as we know it, we saw uh, Desmond Elliott, of course, they are really, really happy about the election. And he himself is currently partying. He's partying with... Uh, some other members in Lagos Street, you know, singing and jubilating and uh, having fun generally. He's the person that won now. So, uh, Tunubu won. And uh, Desmo Elliott is among Tunubu's boys. So, he's dancing and happy for his party and for Tunubu, precisely. Then again, uh, let's talk about Sheila. Sheila, however, issued an apology. He said, you know, Sheila is also supporting, was supporting, also supporting Tinubu. He said, my fellow Nigerians, I am happy you are as passionate as you are about your preferred candidate. This is the way politics should be. However, bitterness and hatred towards one another shouldn't have a place between us. Are you okay? You say bitterness and hatred to, to, towards one another. So ringing and all those things, I, 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 is that, not, is that not clear bitterness and hatred? If you claim you love you love the other opposition, but you allow your own candidate, you praise your own candidate for rigging election or for doing my practices, and yet you say you love the other opposition, what kind of love is that? A love that will allow you to cheat your neighbor and be happy with yourself? You say you call your love? He also said you might... Not see things the way I see it. That doesn't mean you are wrong and I am right. It just means that we are different. If your candidate have, candidates have won, I would have prayed and worked for his success on mine. I apologize to those offended by my support. And I seriously condemn all the violence across the country. I have mixed feelings not for my candidates winning, but your genuine anger. However, I pray Nigeria and Nigerians live. I pray Nigeria and Nigerians' lives get better. Okay, that's my prayer too. So I don't know if you guys accept his apologies. Let me know guys if you accept uh, Shane Law apologies. And uh, he was the one, he's, he was among those people laughing and praising while the rigging was going on and the people were being beaten youth coppers were being beaten he was laughing go and check his social media his instagram you saw the way he was laughing now all is well nice now say oh please forgive me no you should have the same energy then uh and your bad most of course that as well be me she buy then go sell out she said congratulations daddy allow me to reintroduce myself Say congratulations, Daddy. Well, I see a reason why David O decided to cut off from uh, any other bad news. No, you can't have such person around you. Such person can't be around you. Then let's talk about uh, this guy Portable is currently really, really happy. I don't know how Portable this will favor him, but uh, he shows kind of pictures and uh, videos you have been posting recently making videos and uh, just jubilating generally 
I think it's about to even drop a new song, praising Tunubu. I think it's about to do that. You know, <laughs> it's, it's flexing now. You know, everybody with uh, political interest, everyone with political interest, most definitely. I think it's going to be uh, called upon to perform at one Tunubu uh, celebration now that it is uh, showing up that it supported Tunubu. Don't forget, uh, don't forget this particular guy here. Eh? He, he can support any party. He supported the uh, PDP in Oshu. He supported SDP in, Peru, in presidential election. Now Tinubu don't win. Now, now it's not back to APC. Now supporting uh, Tinubu for winning. <laughs> this guy now anywhere believe is. If money did there and you are going to enrich his life, good and fine. Man pass mine with a post. That's just what he wants. So the thing is that it's possible that one any be a face. Uh, he doesn't have a permanent friends. As long as you can benefit him and give him what he wants, good and fine, you are his friend. But as soon as he doesn't get what he wants from you, uh, you automatically become an enemy. That one we know portable for. So anyone surprised about portable, happy and present to know, but I think that person should go and check uh, portable history very well. And uh, Mr. Jolov was still not happy uh, with the win. And uh, of course, he's blaming Labour Party. Check him out. Well, you're not saying as stubborn as I make these people now the cause problem for you. Yes, now, that's just wickedness. Because 4 million wasted votes, these votes are always. They say they go waste time. They, they are waste time. They're not waste time now. See, you see, you are Baba Blue. I would rather waste that vote. Too. Thank God uh, a lot of us wasted our vote. The votes were very, very close. We already know who won this election. We know history will always remember who won this election. History will always remember. Want the solution is what I will always tell my kids, my generation, and like they will pass it. That's so, so election. This is who won, but this is what happened. So let us see that with the ringing and all the rest. Come on, man. As if we are blinded, as if we are, as if we didn't see it. Come on. So let me read some other comments from our own Nigeria entertainers. You know, people are really, really not happy. Oh. People are really not happy. Social media is not booming. Like, sh social media, no, they boom at all. It's like people are just off social media. They say, I beg. They're tired. <laughs> Fina, former Big Brother Ninja winner, said, My heart has been broken many times, but no pain me, but no pain has been this intense there is nothing good about this new month can we at least have cash can we at least now have cash so let's check if uh worry will not say okay cash will not be available then uh ruth Kadiri said dear peter obi i woke up sad did i expect a different outcome from this election no I remember four years ago, it was the same feeling, but I believe this time the perpetrators of this evil will not prevail. This time our vote will count. We will fight for it. That's coming from a uh, vocabulary. Then uh, Caroline Danjuma uh, said, to every single Nigeria, both young and old, that fought for change, you are loved. For the first time in a long time, I felt change will definitely come. 
Einek selected the president by the grace of God. God will elect ours. For now, let all learn to understand politics and the constitution of Nigeria. When you speak, you speak with fact. Hope is not lost. As we mourn Nigeria today, we hope for brighter tomorrow. I next told our vote, and that is already known everywhere. It is a dark day in Nigeria. Debt to democracy and transparency. I want you all to never give up. Slowly but surely, victory will be ours. Say a little prayer for Nigeria. Time to build yourself. They are listening to Kanayo or Kanayo. My dear friends, today is my birthday. But don't celebrate. Don't celebrate. There's no cause for celebration when the heart of Nigerians are bleeding. On this occasion, it is not safe to say we are happy. Because that's not what expected. I am coming on this broadcast because I came and told everyone that our votes will count. And I said to you guys, out of my own self convention, by what I met, told us that the Beavers machine will transmit our resource from the polling booth to this portal or server or whatever it is. I, I do not know, I do not know, trust me, I do not know whether to apologize to all of you. Because the INEC chairman has to answer to us. We're Nigerians. I don't want to, on this broadcast, start talking about the amount of money the federal government has been allocating to INEC. But the fact of the matter is this. Professor Mahmoud Yakub owes Nigerians. Somebody, if you employ somebody to do a job for you and the person fails, you either ask said the person to refund the money. Nigerians should be asking Professor Mahmoud. Not just what happened to the transmission, but to refund our money. So on this birthday, my, I'm 61 today, and I feel that I apologize to all of you who I went out. It's not about my candidate P2B winning this election. No, it has gone beyond that. It's not about P2B winning. It's about doing the right thing. Nigerians, I implore you, while I appreciate the letter written by Elder State's mind, the, the one I love so much, Professor Oriso Obasanjo, no matter how, how much or how less you see Oriso Obasanjo, he's one leader who speaks. I respect him so much. I acknowledge his letter and I agree with all he has said. The fact of the matter is, let us be peaceful. Restrain ourselves to what is going to happen. But we must hold accountable to this INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakub, to Nigerians. He promised us he was going to transmit the results from the polling boats. We need to ask him at what point he changed his mind and compromised. We were hoping for a better Nigeria. It's not about P2B winning, it's not about any other candidate winning, but doing the right thing. INEC, I am not celebrating my birthday. I'm asking to do the right thing. Do not allow Nigeria engulf itself. The, 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 the um, international observers, they have left. Have you, did you see them at the airport? They were leaving. They have left us to ourselves. <laughs> it's not about us killing ourselves again. It's about us finding a solution to our problem. Professor Mahmoud Yakub, chairman of INEC, with the INEC commissioners, you compromised. You sold shame to us in the marketplace. You deceived us. We are selling the election either to the highest bidder so that some people who will lose it. It's really shocking to many people. And uh, I'm still going to be reading some other reaction as well. May Yoli Doche dies and Yoli Doche's wife said, I don't have the right word, but I know you outdid yourself. Sir, Peter Obi, you are a great man that is truly loved and loved and by the people. So many people see hope in you and have so much faith in your capability. 
In the past few days, I have seen oneness and collective efforts in displaying rep irrespective of individual differences. And I'm so impressed with my fellow Nigerians. Nigeria is our beloved country and the only country we have. We will continue to pray for a better nation in which the average citizen get a fair level of existence. That's coming for your leader, May your Doche. The Simi said, So, if there is a democratic election and anybody you just carry, and anybody and anybody can just carry viral and write any numbers they like, it's nothing. I'm just asking, sick to my stomach. These effing people, even God that is all knowing, understood the power of choice, the necessity of heat, and gave us free will. People need the power of choice. People need the power to choose their path. Even when if is a bad choice, you take that away. You have a shell of a man, woman. You have almost nothing. The power of choice is power to decide. When you decide wrong, it's a power to change your mind. When you decide right, it's a power to win. It's one of the worst things to steal from. We do not have power of choice in Nigeria. Even though it's a wrong choice, let it be a wrong choice. Nobody should call me and say, oh, but the man can do better now. Maybe he can do better. No. Allow us to make a choice. If it's wrong, we will suffer. Up. Then we will we'll try to make a better choice tomorrow. Like what Simi said, God understood the power of choice and he gave human beings the power of free will to choose their path. Who gave you the right? Who gave you the right? to deny such things from us. Who gave you that right? Well, it is what it is, guys. So, and uh, Yabo Ojo, of course. Yabo Ojo is one of all those uh, leaders, actress who really stood their ground. Eh? Said they are going to vote for Peter Obi and they stood to the head. Yabo Ojo wrote after the whole announcement, he said, I stand and restand strongly obedient whether I elect you president or not, sir. You are a great man. I am so proud and happy that I stood on the right path and I will forever stand on the right path. Please, my fellow obedient, be calm. No one and nothing is worth dying for. We live to fight another day. So please embrace peace. Let all allow the right people of the law to handle the case. History will never forget. Yeah, don't protest. Be peaceful. Don't fight. Just forget them. The right people will handle the law. Hmm? Don't protest. Just be peaceful, guys. Ah, it's quite unfortunate. Well, I think there's a heavy load that has been lifted. For those of you who supported the uh, Tinubu, well, ah. The load is now on top of your head. Huh? At least. I'm not hoping that we should have a, a worse Nigeria. I'm praying we should have the best Nigeria. And let's watch and see. But however, the matter will go cut. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. But I know, judging by the judicial system, the court system in Nigeria, <laughs> the matter not to go anywhere. So I end my comments and I'll catch you next time.